Welcome to the installation, commissioning, and operation video guide for the XJ3G phase failure and phase sequence protection relay. Before we begin, disconnect the power supply, wear insulating gloves and protective goggles. Prepare wire strippers, crimping pliers, appropriately sized wires, wire lugs, a screwdriver and a multimeter. Before installation, please carefully read the instructions to ensure that the relay model matches the predetermined working conditions and select an appropriate installation location. The technique for installing the XJ3G involves first unlocking the relay from the socket, removing the relay, aligning the upper end of the socket with the top edge of the rail, then pressing down on the bottom to ensure the socket is correctly inserted into the rail. If you need to disassemble the socket, use a flathead screwdriver to lightly press the release part, lift the bottom of the socket to detach it from the rail, and then tilt it forward at a suitable angle to remove it. Choose the appropriate cross-sectional area of wires based on the product's current rating. Use the wire strippers to carefully strip off the outer insulation of the copper wire for 9 to 11 mm, ensuring that the exposed length of the copper wire is appropriate. For the XJ3G, terminal connectors 1, 2, and 3 correspond to the L1, L2, and L3 of the power supply, respectively, terminals 5 and 6 are for normal open contact, and terminals 7 and 8 are for normal close contact. Connect the three-phase power supply to the corresponding terminals, and as needed, connect the load to the normal open and normal close contacts. Before powering up, check that the wiring is correctly done according to the specifications. Reinstall the XJ3G phase loss and phase sequence protection relay into its socket and lock the latch. Measure with a multimeter to find terminals 5 and 6 are open, and terminals 7 and 8 are closed. After powering up, the green indicator light turns on. Use a multimeter to test the normally open and normally closed contacts of the relay. Terminals 5 and 6 should be closed, and terminals 7 and 8 should be open, to verify its normal operation. After powering off, swap the L1 and L3, or remove the L3, then power on again. The red indicator light should be on. Use a multimeter to test the relay's NO and NC contacts. Terminals 5 and 6 should be disconnected, and terminal 7 and 8 should be connected. Use this method to verify if the phase sequence and phase loss protection function can work properly. If you encounter any issues, please refer to the troubleshooting guide for analysis and resolution. We will provide diagnostic methods and solutions for common issues. For more information, please visit our official website or get in touch with our local representatives for assistance.